Now we are going to run through some troubleshooting. I'm not going to do the basics. We are running a scenario where you have everything set up and you still can't pick up anything on either your TV set or your monitor. As in the DVR isn't sending out any image, it isn't sending out any output at all. So in this scenario, what do we do? The first thing you need to check, check the front panel of your recorder. It should have a few indicators and one of them is a power indicator. Now, that power indicator will either appear solid or it will be flashing or at times there will be nothing there at all. So if the power indicator is on and solid, it means your DVR is running just fine. The issue here could be with the TV set you're using. I'm going to assume you're using a TV set that does not support the output resolution that the DVR is currently sending out. Maybe the resolution is too high for the TV set or it might be too low. And usually in those cases, you're already using an HDMI cable to connect from your DVR to your TV set. The first thing you need to do is you check if your TV set has a VGA input. A VGA cable is going to look like this. And this is a VGA output of a DVR. So if your TV set has something similar, you're going to try that. You try a VGA cable, run it from your recorder onto your TV set. If it still doesn't pick up any image, then I'll highly recommend you try a computer monitor. Now, a computer monitor will usually support a wider range of resolutions. So it's highly likely you pick up something on your TV set be it through a VGA cable or an HDMI cable. And once you pick up some images, once you pick up some kind of output on your TV set, you need to change the resolution and then you can switch back to your TV set now. This is what you're going to look at. Once you pick up some kind of output from the DVR, you're going to move on to the main menu. You go to settings, you go video, and on the right side, right hand side, you have GUI. And right there, you have resolution. And it's from the resolution that you can pick out any you wish to have on your TV set. Now, I'm going to assume your TV set does not support a very high resolution, as in it doesn't support up to 1080p. So you're going to pick a much lower resolution than 1080p or anything slightly lower. But avoid 1080p. In most cases, we've discovered 1080p is usually the problem because not all TV sets support up to 1080p. Once you pick out your resolution and then you click on apply, you'll be prompted to restart the DVR. And once that is done, you can log the DVR back onto your TV set. You should be able to pick up something there. Now, in the second scenario where you have everything set up and there is no power indicator at all on the DVR's front panel, or you have a power indicator, but the power indicator is not solid. It's kind of flashing or like blinking. What to do in that scenario is you might try a different power outlet. As in you might have a different power socket at home that you want to try it. Now, if you try that and it still doesn't come on, you're going to try a different power supply. The DVR comes with a power supply that is rated 12 volts. And if you have anything rated 12 volts at home, any power supply that is rated 12 volts, you can take out the one that came with your DVR, and then you plug in your own power adapter. If your DVR comes on, it means our power adapter is faulty, and you can reach us so we can send you one more power adapter. Now, in case a different power adapter doesn't resolve this issue, you're going to open up the DVR and take out the hard drive inside. It means you have to undo all the screws that are on the external casing. Once you undo all the screws, you'll be able to open up the casing and if your DVR came with a hard drive, you have to unplug the two wires that are connected to the hard drive and run it again without any hard drive. It should surely come on, come on just fine. And if you run it without any hard drive and you still have this problem, you have nothing on your monitor or your TV set, it means your DVR is likely faulty and you can reach us so we can replace it for you.
Thank you for watching. If you have any issue, you can feel free to message us either below this video or on eBay or Amazon. Thank you.